I'm JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to take a look at our NVIDIA RTX 5000 NVLink configuration. We're also going to take a look at some of the NVIDIA utilities provided for this card. And then finally, at the end of this video, we'll run through some popular game titles to show you how well our NVLink configuration performs in a gaming environment. So what does the NVLink adapter actually do? Similar to an SLI, the NVLink adapter allows you to connect multiple GPUs together to increase memory and performance. If you want a little bit more information about the NVLink adapter and how well it will perform with your actual card, um, we have posted a link in the description of this video to this NVIDIA NVLink page. Now we're going to scroll down to the cards that we have installed, which are the Quadro RTX 5000s. And as you can see, uh, we are going to have up to 50 gigabit per second bandwidth with these two cards connected. Please keep in mind that not all system boards will support an SLI or NVLink configuration. If you are curious whether your motherboard will support a NVLink or SLI configuration, go to the description of this video. We posted a link to the SLI certified systems and motherboards. Um, and you can go ahead and try to locate your system to see whether it is, it is supported or not. Um, now, in our case, we are using a Dell Precision T7920 workstation. Um, and as you can see, uh, this system will support uh, multiple SLI or NVLink configurations. Um, and you can see RTX 8000, RTX 6000, uh, obviously the RTX 5000s that we're using in this video. Um, so go to this page before you make the investment to try to add an SLI or NVLink configuration to your system. Also, not all software will actually be optimized to use an SLI or NVLink configuration. So check with your software providers to make sure that it'll actually be utilized if you make the investment. We're going to quickly show you how to enable the SLI or NVLink configuration in the NVIDIA control panel. So we went ahead and right clicked on the desktop to go into the control panel, then go to set SLI and physics configuration, uh, click on the maximize 3D performance, apply it. And now the screen should go black a few times and it will apply the changes and put the two cards in the NVLink or SLI configuration. As you can see on the screen, we have successfully enabled the SLI configuration. NVIDIA has also provided this utility called the NVIDIA Quadra View. It's basically a productivity utility that allows you to create custom profiles and hotkeys. And of course, NVIDIA also provides a utility called the NVIDIA Quadra Experience. This utility allows you to easily upgrade drivers as well as optimize certain professional software suites and games specifically to your hardware. We're now going to get it ready to run through some popular game titles. So these are the specs to our test bed that we used. Here's a quick look at the physical RTX 5000 NVLink configuration. For the game testing, we used 1920 by 1080 resolution, high settings, and a 240 Hz refresh rate. We are aware that Quadro graphics cards are not made for gaming. However, we still like to see how well they will perform in a gaming environment.
We posted another video on our channel where we did game testing with a single RTX 5000 graphics card, and we actually achieved better frame rates than the NVLink configuration. Comment below and let us know why you think that might have been. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel, and thank you so much for watching.